Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. You know, after four books considering the law of the Israelites, to me Joshua seems to be reading like an action adventure story. But these were exciting times for the Israelites. They were about to enter the land that promised to their forefathers. So let's continue the adventure with Joshua chapter 3. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, he reveals what you need to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. Amen. Joshua got up early in the morning, and they moved from Shisham, and came to the Jordan, he and all the children of Israel. They camped there before they crossed over. After three days, the officers went through the middle of the camp, and they commanded the people, saying, When you see the Ark of Yahweh, your God's covenant, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then leave your place, and follow it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, of about two thousand cubits by measure. Don't come closer to it, that you may know the way by which you must go, for you have not passed this way before. Joshua said to the people, Cleanse yourselves, for tomorrow Yahweh will do wonders among you. Joshua spoke to the priest, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and got over before the people. They took up the Ark of the Covenant, and went before the people. Yahweh said to Joshua, Today I will begin to magnify you, in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. You shall command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When you come to the brink of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. Joshua said to the children of Israel, Come here and hear the words of Yahweh your God. Joshua said, By this you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will, without fail, drive the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Hivite, and the Perizzite, the Gershite, and the Amorite, and the Jebusite, out from before you. Look, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth passes over before you into the Jordan. Now therefore, take twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, for every tribe of man. It shall be, that when the soles of the feet, the priests who bear the Ark of Yahweh, the Lord of all the earth, Rest in the waters of the Jordan, that the waters of the Jordan will be cut off. The waters that come down from above shall stand in one heap. When the people moved from the tents to pass over the Jordan, the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant, being before the people, and when those who bore the Ark had come to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests who bore the Ark had dipped in the edge of the water, for the Jordan overflows all its banks all the time of the harvest. The waters which came down from above stood and rose up in one heap, a great way off. Adam, the city that is beside Zarephan, and those that went down toward the sea of Arabah, even the salt sea, were wholly cut off. And the people passed over near Jericho. The peace who bore the ark of Yahweh's covenant stood firm on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan, and all Israel crossed over on dry ground. So Lord of Nation had passed completely over the Jordan. (laughs) 